guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna have another glam polish video. We have a number of items launching on Friday, September 27th, and when I say a number, I mean 23 items. That seems like a lot, right? But remember that this time every year, Glam Polish has the Halloween Horror Shop event where they launch limited edition small batch polishes all inspired by Halloween things. There's also a limited edition Halloween trio, so we're gonna look at that trio first and then we're gonna look at the limited edition items in the Halloween Horror Shop. This is the fifth annual Halloween Horror Shop from Glam Polish, and just keep in mind, if you see anything here you like, they are small batches that will not be remade and put back up on the website. So if there's something that you really, really want, just make sure you're there right on time to snag it because they won't be restocked. As always, the website will be in the description bar down below so you can go ahead and click on that and get yourself right over to the website. Usually I give a polish two to three coats depending on how many it needs. Today for the sake of time we're just going to be doing two coats of everything and I will let you know during my discussion of the polish whether or not I went for a third when I took my photo. So we better go ahead and get started. On my lips today I have this Anastasia it says Toffee Lip Gloss. So the trio is made up of these three shades, and I hate to break it to you guys, but I really, really liked this trio quite a bit. And in fact, the green polish from the trio is one of my favorite polishes that is launching that weekend from Glam Polish. So let's go ahead and get started. Alphabetical order means we get to start with the blue. So all the polishes in this trio do have a very similar formula. We do have two brighter shades though and one dark, but they're all kind of a crelly formula with a mixture of flakies and neon glitters in the base. So the blue to start with, we have Beware of Hitchhiking Ghosts. So they do of course all have a Halloween reference in the name. This blue is this really, really pretty like deep sea blue. And then it has gorgeous blue to green chameleon flakies. And then the neon component is this bright neon pink. We have it in a whole bunch of different sizes and this one built up for me nicely in two coats. But for some of the lighter pigmented shades, I went ahead and did a third coat for the photo. But this one I just did too. So this is two coats of Beware of Hitchhiking Ghosts. All of my photos today as well will have top coat. So keep that in mind. I think in general, top coat is just always a good practice, but especially with anything that has lots of flakies and glitters, top coat's kind of a must have. Okay, like I said, this green is one of my very, very favorites. It just has a combination of really awesome colors. So the green is called How to Kill a Monster. So we have this awesome neon green to start with. And then inside it has purple glitters. So I guess I wouldn't necessarily say that the glitters in this one are neon. I did say it was neon glitters throughout the trio, but since this one has a neon base, you know, it kind of flip-flops and the glitters in here are this kind of, um, darker metallic purple and a whole bunch of different sizes and then it has flakies again so we have chameleon flakies but this time they are gold green pink ones it looks like and you guys I just love this one I really really love it this one I did use three coats for my swatch photo but I'm just showing you two for the live application and then the final polish in the trio I really liked it as well this one is a super deep dark purple jelly base it's called scary stories to tell in the dark and this one, again, has those neon purple glitters. So it has the same neon purple as the blue polish, but it has a different flaky. I think this flaky is the red gold green kind. Anyway, I'm seeing a lot, a lot of green, a really bright glowing green. So pretty, it's a very dark shade. I'm just gonna swatch it for you in two coats. Maybe depending on your nail length, you might want a third one with this. But uh, yeah, that's the final polish in the Halloween trio. So those launch on the 27th as well, they are a separate thing from the Halloween Horror Shop event, but all of the things in this video you're gonna see are all launching on the 27th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the 20 shades that are gonna be in the Halloween Horror Shop event. Now, like I said, don't forget, they are extremely limited. We're gonna go in alphabetical order as always. That means we get to start with three, four, better lock your door. This polish was very opaque. You could maybe just get this done in one coat. This is the holographic formula that Glam Polish has cultivated. It is filled with the hollow pigment in the base, but ultra hollow and multi-chrome flakies. It's described as a burnt orange ultra hollow with shifting metallic flakies and ultra hollow glitter. So the shifty flakies are going from like a red, orange, gold. And like I said, this is very opaque 
and a very different coloration for a holographic. I really, really like this one quite a bit. I love it when any brand does a neutral holographic and I consider this one kind of a neutral holographic. Next up we have American Poltergeist and this is a beautiful purple with a very strong blue-green flash. American Poltergeist is described as a purple jelly with iridescent flakies, green to purple aurora shimmer, and fine hollow micro glitter. The iridescent flakies are the chameleon flaky. I'm seeing blue, green, red, orange. There's probably a pretty good mix there. It's not just one kind of flaky. And then the description says it's a green to purple flash. So the purple is just blending in so nicely with the base and the green really, really stands out. And of course it has the micro hollow as well. So this is American Poltergeist and super, super pretty. I did just two coats on that one for the photos. Next up we have a Night in Terror Tower. So this one uh, has a lot going on guys. It's described as a deep indigo jelly with iridescent flakies and hollow micro glitter. This one kind of has a whole rainbow of iridescent flakies going on. Um, yeah, I see a lot of colors in there, a lot of pink, a lot of gold, green, some purple, and lots of hollow. It almost looks like it has about double of what the last one had from the hollow glitters. So pretty. This is a Night in Terror Tower. It has a beautiful deep dark formula, and as you layer that on, you're just getting so, so many flakies on the nail. I just did two coats of that one as well. Next up, we have Are You Afraid of the Dark? And this is a beautiful green with very strong, it's either red to green or pink gold green shimmer in the base. And Are You Afraid of the Dark is described as a deep blue green with shifting metallic flakies and ultra hollow glitter. This one had a little bit sheer of a base. I went ahead and went for three coats on this one, but I'm just swatching it for you in two, of course, just to keep things consistent across the board and keep us moving. So anyway, this one's super pretty. If you love glam polished greens, this is another really cool one and it's very dark and it has a very, very strong shimmer. So it only really looks that dark green blue color at times because mostly you're just looking at this really strong shimmer. And of course, lots of flakies, lots of chameleon flakies. So that's Are You Afraid of the Dark? The next polish up is our first red in the collection. This one's called Child's Play. I really, really liked this one. I remember putting it on and being like, oh yeah, what is this? Oh, Child's Play. And Child's Play is described as a red jelly with iridescent flakes, aurora shimmer, and micro hollow glitter. And the red is kind of like, it's almost going towards a brick red and the shimmer is the red gold green shimmer, really, really nice and strong. And we have the iridescent flakies. I think they're probably the same color shift and lots of the super small micro hollow. I got this one opaque at just two coats. This one had a lot of pigmentation in it. Reds tend to be that way. Anyway, really like this one. Finish off with top coat, of course. The next polish up in the Halloween Horror Shop event is I Know What You Did Last Summer. And this one's really fun. It has a totally different formula than any of the other ones we looked at so far because this one has some iridescent glitters in it. So this one has a dark teal base and then it has a mix of iridescent flakies and iridescent glitters and it looks so cool. So I Know What You Did Last Summer is described as a teal jelly with iridescent flakies, shifting iridescent glitter, strong aurora shimmer, and hollow micro glitter. So I'm thinking that the Strong Aurora Shimmer is probably in the same coloration. So the iridescent glitters and flakies flip like a green gold red. And so all three things are doing the same color shift. The shimmer, the flakies, and the glitters. And it just looks really cool. It looks very like mystical water vibe is what I got from this one. So I really like this as well. For my photos, I did, I believe, three coats on this one. So this is I Know What You Did Last Summer. I know what you did last summer. Okay, next up we have another one of my favorites. I really, really liked the Crelly glitters out of this collection. I mean, everything is awesome, but I was really drawn to the Crelly with the fun glitter mixes. This one's called Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And this polish is described as a white Crelly with metallic and neon glitter mix. Well, let me tell you what the glitter mix here we have those purple metallic glitters back. We have some green metallic glitters. Um, we have some little teeny tiny blue. I think those are some neon ones. And we have little teeny tiny yellow neon glitters, like teeny, teeny, tiny. 
And then you've got the white base. Um, it's really, really cute, you guys. I like this one quite a bit. Again, similar to the green, I did need three coats for my photos, but I'm just swatching it for you in two so you can see you know, how it goes on and everything. But I thought this one was so cute. Definitely recommend the Crellies. By the way, if you haven't ever tried Glam Polish, this is a great time to try. You will not be disappointed. I've never had anybody come back to me and say, oh man, I really just didn't like that Glam Polish I bought. No, it's always the exact opposite thing. So next up we have Most Likely to Die. Most Likely to Die is a deep purple jelly with iridescent flakies, aurora shimmer, and hollow micro glitter. So the other polish that was also described as a deep purple jelly with some similar components is a lot more blue toned than this purple. This is like more of a dark boysenberry or uh, plummy jelly, but this one also has some shimmer where that other dark purple did not, so it's staying dark purple, and this one has, I think, a pink gold green shimmer that's bringing it very, you know, it's making it much more of a red purple. I just wanted to point out the differences because they are the description sounds the same, but they don't look the same. This one is filled with flakies as well, probably in the same-ish color shift and lots of micro haul. Next up, we have another red. This one is a deep dark red. This is called My Bloody Valentine. <laughs> And this one is a very dark, wicked scarlet red, or a blood red, really. Um, this one is described as a blackened red with iridescent flakies and hollow micro glitter. So, no shimmer in this one, but it's very, very glowy because of those flakies. I'm getting a pink, gold, green kind of shift, or red, gold, green in those flakies. Lots of glitter. This one does get opaque for me in just two coats as well. So this one is My Bloody Valentine, and I swatched it for you in two coats. Um, my photo is going to be two coats with top coat. Next up, we have another really fun glitter crelly that I was just so drawn to. I was so drawn to them in this collection. This one's called Neon Demon. Neon Demon is described as a cerulean blue jelly with iridescent flakies and neon glitter mix. So this cerulean blue is definitely a little bit green leaning, but also the neon glitters in here are green. We have a bunch of different sizes too. It's not just one plain glitter size. It's filled with a whole bunch of different ones. And then the flakies are that really beautiful, like blue to sapphire color. Oh, it looks so pretty. It looks really, really eerie too. So I'm swatching this for you in two coats. When I went to go take my photos, I believe I did a third coat on uh, for this polish, Neon Demon. That one was so cool. We have a couple more Crellies coming up. Actually, two white base Crellies here, but again, they're totally, totally different. So this first one is called One Day at Horror Land. Was that an R.L. Stein book? I love R.L. Stein. One Day at Horror Land is described as a white Crelly with shifting metallic flakes and metallic glitter mix. Um, so the colors that you're getting in here are purple, and red and fuchsia in all different sizes and it's in a white um, base there so super super fun and this one like I said it's staying more towards the reds and purples in the glitter scheme and that's what's gonna make it look so different from the next one and I did three coats with top coat for my final photo the next one is another one of my favorites out of the whole bunch this one is called scary movie and this one has very small glitters in purple, orange, and green. And it's also in a white crelly base. And it has some shifty shimmer going on in here. I think it might be red, gold, green. The Scary Movie Polish is described as a white crelly with metallic glitter mix and Aurora shimmer. So anyway, this one is different too in that usually the glitter sizes differ. There's some bigger ones and they go all the way to small. But this one has all small. It's so, so cute. So I really, really like this. I'm swatching it for you in just two coats, but I'm gonna do three for my photo. So this is three coats of Scary Movie with top coat, of course, and this was happened to be another one of my favorites. Next up, we have this super duper duper dark kind of plum shade. It's called Slender Man. And I actually really, really like this one too, even though I really don't like Slender Man. Um, okay. Slender Man is described as a blackened blurple jelly with shifting metallic flakies, iridescent flakies, aurora shimmer, and ultra hollow glitter. So this one has the whole kit and caboodle. Every kind of flaky, lots of hollow, lots of shimmer, and it's just in this really weird 
dark blackened base. It's so interesting. So this one looks really cool on guys. Definitely a very strong green glow and then we've got a whole rainbow of flakies in there. So I did just two coats for my photos with that one with top coat. Next up we have the craft. Oh, there's another one I recognize. Okay, the craft. This polish is described as a blurple crelly with shifting iridescent glitter, aurora shimmer, and hollow micro glitter. So this is another one that has those really fun iridescent kind of dragon scale looking glitters. And it's shifting between red, gold, green, and it's so pretty. I love this one. I love all of them. Um, but I really like the Crellies, but of course I like this one too because it's purple and I love the iridescent glitter mix. So this one's super duper fun. The Craft, it has hollow in it too, of course, and it's just such a fun blurple shade. I think it's more purple than blue, but that's just me. Anyway, I did three coats of that one with top coat for my photo. Next up, we have another purple, totally different. The maker is a gal after my own heart. She does like to make some purple polishes, I have to admit, and I can't be mad about it because I love them all. Next one's called The Haunting of Hill House, and this is a darker purple, and it is so packed, super duper packed with red, gold, green shimmer, um, that it's hard not to think of this as a red or green polish. That's how dense it is. Um, this one is described as a dark blurple crelly with strong aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter. They weren't kidding. It's very, very strong. So just think of it as a darker version of the one we just looked at, um, packed with dense shimmer and hollow flakies. I did two coats of this one for my live swatch and for my photos, I also did two coats. And then I finished off with top coat as well, of course. We have another hollow polish here. So another hollow through and through. Pretty much almost every glam polish has some hollow, but this one is only one of two holographic polishes in this Halloween horror shop event. The first one was 3-4 Better Lock Your Door, and this one is the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone is a silver hollow. It's described as a silver hollow with shifting metallic flakies, iridescent flakies, aurora shimmer, and ultra hollow glitter. So all the hollow, the shimmer is um, giving me like a blue purple fuchsia kind of shift. And then the flakies are doing a very similar thing. So lots of blue and purple. Got a little pinch of green there. There's a rogue flaky. Just kidding. Um, anyway, gorgeous. These hollows always get opaque quicker than some of the other formulations. I just needed two coats on this one. You guys, we are actually getting towards the end. I really love this next one. I really, really liked it. It gave me all the feels. This is called the X-Files. So we were at the Twilight Zone, now we're at the X-Files. The X-Files is described as a light gray crelly with metallic purple glitter mix and Aurora Shimmer. This one has such an eerie quality. I love the gray base. It's definitely on the squishy side. You're definitely going to want three coats on this one, which just looks so cool. It just makes it look so ghostly. And it has a strong red, gold, green Aurora Shimmer, and then it has those purple metallic glitters again in all different sizes. And it just looks really, really cool. So I'm going to do three coats of this for my photos. I'm just showing you two for the live swatch today, but... This is another one that was one of my favorites. Okay, now we have another gray. It is super packed with a pink, gold, green, very strong flash. Lots of chameleon flakies and metallic flakies in here. This one's called Urban Legend. Urban Legend is described as a gray crelly with iridescent flakies, shifting metallic flakies, aurora shimmer, and hollow micro glitter. So you're getting some hollow in there too. This gets opaque quicker than the last one, definitely. They just have different formulations. The last one was meant to look more squishy and eerie, and this one firms up a little quicker. And um, has just filled with so much colorful craziness going on. It's a little gray party in a bottle, this one is. so. This is Urban Legend. I did just two coats of top coat for my photos. And then next we have Vampire Diaries. And this one is another one that has the iridescent glitters, which I love. But this time it's in like this fuchsia berry shade. Vampire Diaries is described as a burgundy jelly with iridescent flakies, shifting iridescent glitter, aurora shimmer, and hollow micro glitter. So that same kind of effect going on when we match the glitter to the flaky doing the same shift and the same shift in the shimmer. We've got some hollow in there as well. I just, I just love an iridescent glitter. It's just one of my faves, guys. So 
This one is so packed with it. I did just two coats for this polish. This one's called Vampire Diaries. And I think this is really the only polish out of the collection that is like pink, really. All you pink fans. And this one's really good too. So definitely snag with that one. That's Vampire Diaries. We did two coats with Taco. And the very last polish looks very different than the rest of the collection. We have this soft, a little bit grayed out turquoise shade. And it's filled with um, flakies, both multi-chrome and chameleon flakies. This one's called Wolf Creek. Teal Crelly with iridescent flakes, shifty metallic flakes, and fine metallic glitter. And it's just so pretty, and it's super packed with these flakies, you guys, and it's a rainbow of flakies again. So, kind of similar to that gray one we looked at, but it has this little bit more playful of a coloration than any of the other shades if they weren't the Crellies. The Crellies with the glitters, those were all very playful. So in any case, um, this one has the same formulation as that gray with the kind of the same mix and it gets more opaque. So this one is a two coater. I finished off with top coat of course and <sighs> we got to the end. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I went through things quick enough you guys. I wanted to make sure and give each polish its own space of time. I didn't want to keep you here forever, so I'm going to go ahead and just wrap up quickly. Let me know down below what you think, what your favorites are. Are you a Halloween lover like myself? I need to start watching my Halloween marathon like now. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've never met a glam I didn't like. They're all packed with amazing components and super fun. They're all incredibly fun. That's like their motto over there. Their motto is hollow and fun. So, and that's going to be it. Like I said, the website is in the description bar below. Um, I think that's everything you need to know. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for coming by for this video. I hope you stop back. I have more for you coming on later this week. Take care until then. Bye!